and the officials explaining the play once again to Ron Marshall. I think they're going to have a lot of explaining to do because I don't think Marshall is too happy with that. I never saw the signal, and uh, John, you say you saw a man, and the guy who's receiving it doesn't have to call a fair catch. I, I don't believe anybody can can call it. So that's the situation, but Lebanon's not going to let them, not going to let this one get away right now. They're mad. All right, here come the Warriors after an officials conference and camp meeting down there. Man in motion to the near side is Jolly. Mix up in the backfield. Ingles got the football and Lebanon's got Ingle. He got nothing. David Marshall, Big Davey comes through there and won't let Ingle get any forward progress. They tried to run the inside trap and David stepped in there and made the play 40 seconds to go in the third period. They've got big yardage off that play tonight, but nothing there but about a half yard. Call it second down and nine. At the ball at the 42-yard line of the Warriors. 25 seconds remaining here in the third period. Blue Devils leading 21-20. Sterling Jenkins, the quarterback under. Wants to throw, fine long, got a man, and he has caught it. Engel has got it down at the 30, inside the 25, down to the Lebanon 27 yard, or the 22 yard line of the Blue Devils. And Hunter's Lane's got a big man hurt, big John Young, 6'2", 267, is down back at the 40 yard line. They ran Engel on a deep post route, ran him up the hash and broke him toward the middle of the field. He was open. Jarob Coggins, the free safety, had to come over and make the play. Terry, big yardage on that pass and catch right here at the end of the third period. Tommy from the Hunter's Lane, 42, the play good down to the Lebanon, 22. That's a 36-yard pickup by Hunter's Lane and, of course, a first down. Injured player, Young, still being attended to on the sideline. Tell you what, let's take a quick 30-second timeout. Lebanon leads 21-20 to 20 over Hunter's Lane. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Well, we're back at Lebanon High School, and after the controversial call at the 42-yard line, they hit the big pass all the way down to the Lebanon 22 with seven seconds remaining here in the third period. And they're still administering to big John Young, the right tackle, 6'2", 267. And he's down back at the 40-yard line. Coach Marshall has gone out now to take a look. And from the angle that they're working here, it looks like it might be a knee, and that's always bad, no matter who it is, when they start looking at those knees, guys. Certainly is. The athletic trainer, Shane Kennedy, for Hunter's Lane, and also the athletic trainer, Kevin Wolf for the Blue Devils, out attending to big Mr. Young. And I tell you what, let's do, folks. Let's take another 30-second timeout. We'll take another 30, and we'll be back with more. Lebanon leads 21 to 20. 7.1 seconds to go in the third period. We'll be back in 30 seconds. All right, we're back here at Lebanon High School. We still have an injury timeout. Big John Young is still down, and they send out a couple of Warriors to help carry him off. And I think it is a knee, but uh, let's wait and see. They're going to get the big guy. Up. Boy, he's going to be a load for somebody to carry off. 267 pounds of him. Going to get a good hand out of the Lebanon crowd. And Clyde, and he's we up had on a his feet, and we have a winner for Snow White Pizza, Tommy Bryan. The Snow White uh, meal for two goes to Russ Stevens. Russ uh, knew the answer to our trivia question. The question was, last year, Lebanon won two football games. One of those games was against Hunter's Lane, and who did Lebanon beat in the other game? And that was, of course, Laverne High School. Russ Stevens knew the answer, and Russ, just like a Baptist preacher, to get a free meal somewhere. Russ, the <laughs> pastor at Silver I'm glad Springs. You said that. The pastor at Silver Springs Baptist Church. Uh, Russ, congratulations on the uh, free meal from Snow White Drive In, a uh, plate lunch for two plus drinks, compliments of Snow White. Jimmy Reed and all the folks down at Snow White. 
Underneath the center is Sterling Jenkins. They're at the 11 and 22 with the first and 10, and they give it to Jolly as he comes out on a sweep to the near side. He made the 20, no more as the quarter ends. Lebanon will jam up Jolly at the 20-yard line after a two-yard gain from the speedster, and the third quarter will end there. At the end of three here at Lebanon High School, Blue Devils 21, Hunters Lane Warriors 20. We'll be back for the fourth and final period after this 30-second timeout. Seeing a different Blue Devil team here in the second half. Well, a, a different bunch of kids in those blue jerseys has answered the bell for this second half, and it started with the defense. Lebanon's defense bottled up Hunter's Lane and kept them out on their first possession, got the ball back and scored. Lebanon scored again, and now the Blue Devils protecting a 21-20 lead. Hunter's Lane has the football, though, deep in Lebanon territory at the Looks like uh, football is going to be spotted right at the 20-yard line. And it'll be second down and eight for Hunters Lane at the 11 and 20. Blue Devil defense got a challenge in front of them here. A lot of speed in this Hunters Lane backfield. Hamilton, the big fullback, is their cow, bell cow, evidently, because he carries the mail most of the time, and he's the guy, their big yardage man. But Lebanon has held him in check tonight. Jolly the speedster, who's out on the wing, has been the man... That has really hurt the Blue Devils so far in this ball game. Along with quarterback Jenkins, who is a pretty slick one himself. And the Warrior Band gets kind of wound up across the way. Second down and eight as they set him down at the 20-yard line. Blue Devil defense trying to stop it up here. And let's see what they do. Lone setback is Hamilton, the fullback. And a quarterback rollout behind his own man reverses his field, comes to the near side level and trips him up, and he only gets a yard. Great defense by, let's see that number when he gets up. Tell you what, Clyde, Michael Robertson got a hand on him. It was Robertson, got one hand on a foot and tripped him up. Spun him around and changed his direction as Jenkins, so elusive, we got him turned around, and a timeout will be called by Hunters Lane as they're looking at a third down and long now. 11.36 to go here in the fourth quarter. We're going to take a 30-second break, and we'll be right back. This is WANT FM 98.9, and if you're watching this game, it's on Cable Vision 3. Compliments of the Blue Devil Lebanon All Sports Booster Club and and the guys at Channel One Video Productions: Tommy Bryan, Terry Stafford, Clyde Harville, John Bryan on the field. Lebanon leads 21 to 20 over Hunters Lane. And Hunters Lane looking at a third and seven. Of course, they're in two down territory. And they set him down. One lone setback. That's Hamilton, the fullback. And down the line, they pitch it to Hamilton. Hamilton slides inside. He's at the 20 to the 15. Slides down inside the 10. Still on his feet. Ridden down by Bubba Ligon at the five-yard line. It'll be first and goal from the five. And a great run it was by Hamilton. They came with the option look. They Jenkins clears the football from center and turns, has a Blue Devil right in his face. Chris Britton really delivered a hammer shot on Jenkins, the quarterback, but he makes the pitch to Darius Hamilton. Terry Stafford, a good run. Tommy from the 19 down to the 11 and 5, so Hamilton picks up 14 and an all-important first down for Hunter's Lane. Out of the huddle and up to the line. Looking at a first and goal from the 11 and 5. Man in motion, they give it to the second man through. Got a little hole hit as he crosses the four down to the three. And running the football looked like 32, Jaffo Harden. John, it looked to me like uh, Hunter's Lane never really got set. I, I thought they had some people moving at the snap. You know, they come out sometimes with that stand-up line, and uh, they, they go from uh, the standing position. And I was like, you I thought they were kind of adjusting their feet as the ball was snap and no call. Ball at the two and a half yard line. And now we get an official's timeout. And he adjusts the equipment on Jolly down there. I'm still learning a lot about football here tonight, but I'm still not happy with that play. <laughs> Onside kick. They pitch it back in the middle, and driving with the football is Hamilton, the fullback. Going to get about a yard. Somebody hanging around that ankle. 
That's big number 78 for the Blue Devils. Had an ankle, David Marshall. Had that elbow crooked around the ankle and wouldn't let go and then got some help down there and he punches it down to the two yard line and it's gonna be third down and goal from there. And Stratford wants a time to talk about it a little bit. The Stratford coach out on the field. We'll take a 30 second break, then we'll be back. Got, they're looking at a third and just under two yards, actually about a yard and a half. Hunter's Lane needs points, Clyde. They need to try to stem the tide a little bit. Jerry Pig's out talking to his offense. I believe he's going to call one play, try to get it in the end zone. Ten minutes and two seconds to go in the game. Lebanon clinging to a one-point lead. He's going to try to get it in the end zone right here. If he doesn't, I, I look for him to kick a field goal. They don't want to come away from here empty-handed. Well, you've always got Jolly, the speedster, now in that backfield. And they are tight in that backfield. They are, and the big fullback is Darius Hamilton. He's their bread and butter man, and here's the call. They set him down, third and goal from the two, and they give it to Hamilton, and Hamilton breaks into the end zone with second effort. Lebanon had him to stop, but a big fullback just kept those legs churning and finally popped free and shot into the end zone for the score, and it's a 26-21 ball game. But the Blue Devils are going to have plenty of time and plenty of clock left. Hunters Lane has the PAT team on the field attempting the point after touchdown for Hunters Lane is Rayford. John, you've got the call. No, they're going to leave the offense on the field. Clyde will have it up here, John. They're going to go for the two, so let's see. They put double wide outs to the right. One lone setback is Hamilton, the fullback. Quarterback sends a man in motion coming to the near side and rolls back to throw. Fires and Lebanon hits him intercepted by the Blue Devils. Big Robertson got him an interception. The big center pulled that one down. Somebody smacked that quarterback and the ball shot right straight up in the air and it was intercepted by Robertson. So it's no good and it's a 26-21 ball game. So now if the Blue Devils can score, they don't have to worry too much about the extra point because uh, the six would give them the lead. It's on the odd number now, Lebanon with a five-point lead. Terry Stafford, what about that drive? Tommy, 52 yards, eight plays. Darius Hamilton ran it in from two yards away. The two-point conversion pass was incomplete. But Hunters Lane has taken the lead with 9.58 left in the ballgame. It's 26-21, Hunters Lane. And deep for Lebanon goes Chris Britton, Bubba Ligon, Stephen Pickett, and that always dangerous Trent Thomas offensive lineman who's made a couple of big plays on kick return tonight for Lebanon kicking the football for, for Hunters Lane will be Rayford the senior and folks now's the time for that offense for Lebanon to start churning a little I tell you I'd like about a 17 play 80 yard drive and a score right before the end of the ball game well will they risk an onside kick here to try to juke the Blue Devils probably not they're ready to kick. Rayford will kick it. Britton is the deep man, but they're going for the onside kick. It's loose, and Lebanon going to fall on it, and Tommy, your man, is on it at the 31-yard line. Trent Thomas all over it down at the 31. John Bryan, when you're hot, you're hot, and there's an offensive guard who's going to get a special teams award this week from the Blue Devils. He's either three for three or four for four when the ball comes around, and he's all over it, and uh, that's big for an offensive lineman. All right, they'll put it back at the 30-yard line, and the Blue Devils are 70 yards away from a go-ahead score. Double wide out set for the Blue Devils. Lassiter sets them down, Britton in motion, and they give it to Ligon, and he shoots in the middle and got nothing. May have gotten a half yard. They may give him the 31. If they do, it's pretty generous. On the bottom of that pile for Hunter's Lane, Justin Odom, 6'1", 205 senior, tangling it up with Bubba Ligon. And, and Ligon, as you say, Clyde, just about a yard. That's all he can muster on that play. Terry, what about Bubba running the football tonight? Tommy, 11 carries tonight, 65 yards and a touchdown for Bubba. Well, it's second down and nine. Actually, it'll be a long nine. It's Hunter's Lane. Puts another man in, brings a new linebacker in there. Lebanon again with a double wide out set.